Hi, Corky here. I wanted to make a brief video, as brief as I can, considering how slow I talk, uh, concerning Corky's Marlboro Railroad and where we're at right now. Um, I'm here in Rock Hill, South Carolina at my in-laws, and I have been able to go yesterday to Concord, North Carolina to the Lionel store. And I uh, was really glad to get to go there because Lionel is now headquartered in this area. Um, I'm told that the administrative offices are across from the Speedway, Charlotte Speedway. And then in Concord Mills Mall is where the Lionel store is. And we went there with the family and, and I got to really see what they keep in stock. Uh, and I was not really surprised by what I found. Uh, the prices, of course, are a little higher than what you can get these items on Amazon or eBay or other places. So I'm not going to be buying any major things at that store. But I was glad to see and glad to hear about the continued uh, popularity of the uh, Polar Express, which I plan to expand into in my next layout. Those of you who've watched my videos and looked at my photos on Facebook, you know that I just completed the Woodland Scenics River Pass HO Model Railroad Layout Kit, which took a year and a half to build, and it took me through most all of the uh, major uh, crafts and skills of Model Railroad scenery work, including plaster cloth, foam cutting, uh, you know, uh, hot gluing with a glue gun, soldering, wiring, uh, and then all the painting and gluing in regards to grasses, uh, bushes, uh, forming mountains, <clears throat> building tunnels, installing portals for the train to go through, and um, tree building, uh, uh, realistic water effects for the river, things like that. All the involvement that goes with fitting track that you purchase from an out, an, another source. In my case, Atlas Track, HO Track, Code 83. So that process, uh, I had really a lot of ups and downs. Ballasting still continues to be a very intimidating project to do. Uh, then there was the whole issue of uh, wiring at the end. I've been kind of coached along by a uh, guy in Chesapeake, Virginia, who works at the Chesapeake Children's Museum, Skip Novak, has a huge layout. Uh, he helped me to you know decide what kind of power controller I was going to get. And all that and then the wiring I ended up having to um, put connectors at different points in the layout it's even though it's only a four by eight layout and uh, since that time I've learned about dead spots and learned how to correct dead spots in the track um, I'm trying to think of what was the um, and then learning about clockwise and counterclockwise uh, train running on, you know, a layout. Uh, and then I continue to have issues with couplings or couplers between the cars. Uh, when you build uh, a layout like that and the track uh, is glued down, you know, on a um, track bed, there, there will be inconsistencies in it. And I'm sure that that bouncing is part of the thing that causes those little small uh, HO couplers to come loose. So I'm still working with that and probably need to replace uh, couplers on the old cars that I have on the Hollis Gauss train, stuff like that. Um, so finished the layout and the 
train room in the house, and now I'm looking towards the one in the shed, which is uh, 8 feet by 12 feet. And right now it has my G-scale trains on there right now, along with the uh, Department 56 Christmas Villages, so it's a kind of a mixed scale thing. I'm going to be moving toward an O-scale Lionel gauge uh, out there in the shed, and I'm going to be doing the same type of Woodland Scenics uh, um, sculpting, gluing, scenery building, you know, that I did in the house, only on a larger scale and for O gauge. So coming to the Lionel store was helpful for me to see what is the most popular, what are they stocking in terms of O gauge, and so I'm joining up with you O gauge guys, and I'm sure you think that I'm going to, you know, put on my big boy britches now uh, because I'm I've been to this point just H O and G scale, and a lot of the train buffs think that G scale, you know, it's kind of like playing with toys stuff like that. Um, but yet I have small grandchildren, so they were able to interact a little more with it uh, than they did the HO. So, you know, we've done things, learned uh, lessons along the way. And so we'll be beginning an O-scale Christmas layout in the shed. It will be a lot of snow work, so I've got to learn how to do the Woodland Scenic Snow treatments after the plaster cloth and after the foam and all that. And I'll be working with more inclines, you know, more angles uh, for climbing, trains climbing hills and things like that. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the comments that I've gotten and uh, appreciate all of you. And uh, I'll talk at you later.